Hello, here is your Elgin, and she's ready to go in beautiful order. So we'll just go over, this is your uh, second piece of history that you have. So go over the uh, care, the care, um, not a, a waterproof watch, and uh, I wouldn't wear it on a rainy day. And that's uh, the only big thing, and then of course, don't drop it. And uh, on this particular case, on this, if you have a rouge cloth, that's the best way to clean this case. And the glass and everything. And you know, I'm sure you know how to take this on and off the uh, band. And then, uh, as I showed you in the, in the description, you can wear this just as a single band without the cuff. So, uh, to wear everyday watch. And uh, we'll start with the winding. So on the on the winding, we're not going to go back and forth like this. We're only going to go in the one direction or the clockwise direction. And uh, this is uh, will need to be fully wound. So it takes about the Elgin's take about fifteen of these half of these I call them half winds. So we'll do that now. Nice big crown. And we're just about there. That's about 15. Right there. Tight. Okay. Now that we're... And you know that winding it gives you 24 hours of power to the movement. And uh, every time you want to wear it, you wind it up. So setting the hands again. What we're going to do, instead of a pull on the crown like this, we're going to do a little pinch behind the crown. Okay, I'll do it again. Nice, good sound when you push in the crown. And we'll do it once more. And then when setting the time, it's preferred to go forward or clockwise when setting the time. And uh, that's it. Here you go. Set the time. Push in the crown. And you're all set. And I thank you very much for giving her a new home.